Hello, Katya here, and welcome to this tutorial of three ATC cards. Artist trading cards are gorgeous to create and to share and trade with your friends. Here I have some uh, thick board in the sizes of ATC, and I'm thinking to do some layers of the wooden pieces from uh, canvases. And I have some 3D matte gel and I will start to glue these uh, wooden pieces like uh, some extra texture for these uh, ATC cards. I'm using a spatula to glue the, the, the wooden pieces. Uh, and stay and I take a really big piece so I'm sure it will stay. I'm using the 3D matte gel but the 3D gloss gel works fine also and here I check uh, my uh, embellishment. I have some embellishments from Finabare also so I will see that it will work out because I want my embellishment be on the top of the wooden pieces. So I do the same with the other two. I'm not doing the exactly same composition. It's similar. And be sure to like this video. Please like it, share it and please leave a comment. It will be wonderful and I read all the comments and uh, so let me know what you think. And here I'm adding some extra 3D matte uh, gel all around the wooden pieces because I got the idea that I can add some texture to the IATC cards. So I have here uh, a set of glass beads from Finabare and there are different colors of beads. Uh, and right now uh, I don't mind what color I pick because I'm thinking that I will paint over them. So where I have the 3D matte gel I am sprinkled some uh, beads a little bit carefully. It's so easy that they are all get all around you and on the floor and everywhere. So I sprinkle that on the wooden pieces to give some extra texture to my project. I also have some microbeads and these are black microbeads uh, and they are also to give more texture uh, all around it. And you see I'm adding even a little bit more uh, and also on the wooden pieces I'm adding a little bit more 3D material because I want to give it even more texture. Yes, and I also have a set with mica flakes in different colors and here I'm adding some mica flakes and they are gorgeous in the flakes form so I'm adding them on the wooden pieces to like extra interest um, and uh, I'm thinking to paint over them also but these kind of flakes and beads and uh, like that it's uh, right now on these ATC cards I'm thinking that they will give the extra texture to the project. Yeah, and I'm adding even a little bit more of the beads and now my table is full of different kind of beads. I also add some micro beads and uh, uh, pearls uh, beads in uh, these small, small glass bottles. Uh, I want to have them like as a decoration for my project. When everything is dry I will have some impasta paints 
in the shade of linen. It's very discreet, beige, uh, active color. And I'm adding a little bit of water on the paint because uh, I want to, to cover, basically. And sometimes the impasto paints is very thick. And that's, uh, that's a good. Uh, I love that effect. And if you think it's too thick, it's only add a little bit water on it and it's working fine. Now I have the, the acrylic sparks from Finn. It's a chest of gold. It's a gorgeous metallic, uh, uh, metallic and sparkly color with a lot of mica powder in it. And I have some sea, sea stars, I think the name is. Anyway, I paint my decoration with this chest of gold color and uh, it's uh, it just look amazing, I think. And paint the decorations. Uh, I will have like a sea theme on my artist ATC cards. Now I have the 3D matte gel again. And it's time for gluing my decoration, metallic embellishments, and in the middle I will I will have like my focal point. I have even more decorations, so I will add almost the same composition on all of them. So these big embellishments will be uh, where I will have my focus point. And uh, adding my paste with the spatula. So I add uh, my decoration, also having some leaves. I want to do some layering because I believe layering make the projects more interesting. And uh, these gorgeous leaves, uh, they are rusty and grungy all, uh, also. And I believe they come from the sea where they have get the grungy uh, grungy look and rusty look. So my city team here is uh, that they have been under the sea. So I still do the layering of embellishments and uh, try to also add some embellishments over the the wooden pieces. And I try to find uh, some balance on them, uh, like the chest of gold uh, gives uh, these uh, ATC cards like uh, and the leaves like uh, the shape of uh, three. Uh, Fina Bear have uh, the gorgeous impasto paints and here I have the Mediterranean. It's a light blue, almost like a baby blue color. And I'm painting some parts of the background on the top of the linen. A little bit sloppy, so I'm painting. I also have some jade color. And I get the took the colors uh, near the, their own family. I want doesn't want to give them so much uh, colorful effect. Uh, I want to have uh, the colors like from the same family. And here I have the liquid acrylic paint in emerald. And under the sea there are some emerald projects, emerald details. So I'm adding the emerald closest to some embellishment and spraying some water and the water will and the water let color flow more naturally. And I like or exactly I love that effect. 
and uh, I simply take a little bit color from the bottle be careful it's a little bit a bad idea by taking the brush into the the bottle is so easy that will uh, will fall down on the table and I will never learn this it's like that so be take care if you're doing like me uh, then I will have the ultramarine from Finn in the liquid acrylic paint really blue summery blue uh, with summer feeling and uh, sea feeling so I'm adding the blue and I really like how the line and that it's matte and the more glossy liquid acrylic paint how they work together now I have a little bit of the white heavy gesso uh, and we paint carefully and I will have only a little bit little bit of the heavy gesso uh, to whiten it up and to make a little bit contrast to the paint so I'm carefully dry brushing and I have a pretty much a big um, brush and painting over it so it will be more matching each other better I think uh, dry brushing and it's important to not have so much paint I'm using my hand as a palette but you can also use like a napkin or a piece of paper anything if you like so I'm doing that with all these three ATC cards and I think they match really well together and it looks like uh, the sea theme. I have now some seashells and the bottles. I'm trying out how I will glue them, but I pretty fast find the 3D mat, uh, the, the three shells and I will glue them with regular glue. Uh, you can use your favorite glue and you can still use your some medium if you like. I also have some roots. Now they are in the blue color. So on the screen it's a little bit difficult to see what I'm doing now. But it's blue, blue shaded roots and I will add them like a uh, like, uh, feeling of the seagrass, I believe. And uh, it's a little bit tricky to find how the, the grass will be like. But I don't want to have too much, so it will be overwhelming. I want it to match pretty well for, for this project. Uh, I have now some gold bead, uh, micro beads, and I think that will be perfect to match the bottle that will be staying on each card. So I sprinkle a little bit on some places. I can even sprinkle with my glue, with glue. Uh, you can use some paste or something and when everything is dried I will have some uh, sparks color again yeah I highlight a little bit with the unicorns hair it's a beautiful color and work perfect for highlighting uh, things on your project and uh, I think that make a gorgeous uh, interest to the really matte background with the impasto paints. And I will finish up my ATC cards. And I hope you really that you enjoy this tutorial by me, Katya. And uh, yes, leave a comment, give a thumbs up, and please share the video with your friends if you like it. I love working with the Finabare products 
and let me know what products do you love the most of all the products. Of course, my ATC cards will have a title. Yes, I have some small titles and I'm adding them on the seashells. And this will be like a sunshine treasure ATC cards. Um, just love them. And on the top now, I will have some glue and there's some of the turquoise or bluish uh, microbeads like my treasure. And I wish you well, stay safe and have a great summer to you all. And uh, see you soon again in the next tutorial. Bye bye. See you around.